it is not always clear why. And you, my dear, you are here for a warn, yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Now tell me, what is your name? Josie. Josie. I have been expecting you. If you would please step forward, where I may see you more clearly. Right up here, my dear. <laughs> Josie, you may know that every olive wall has a core of a powerful, magical substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the heart strings of dragons. Now, no two olive wands are the same. Just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same, and of course you will never get such good results on another wizard's wand. And most importantly, only a few particular types of wood are of wand quality. And here at Olivandus, we use only the finest elements for our wands. Now, what I have for you here. It's a wand made of sycamore, thirteen and a half inches, rather swishy, and with a unicorn hair core. Now, I would like you to water my flowers in that vase. Now, point your wand at it, give it away, and say, Aguamenti. Aguamenti. Not exactly what we were expecting. Uh, please allow me. But Josie, you are doing just fine, and we are getting closer. I sense a very powerful magic in you, and I am curious, most curious indeed. Now, what I have for you here is a wand made of elm. Thirteen and a half inches, inflexible, and with a phoenix tail feather core. Now, let us try and ring that bell, but just once. Now, point your wand at it, and when you are ready, just give it away. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Three <laughs> moments. Of a wizard's wand. Ah, but not to be concerned. You see, the best results must always come when there is the strongest affinity between wizard and wand. I wonder. Ah, yes. the one that chose you, Josie. She's like March and I think it's not like a wizard. That's pretty cool. Do you want to get it? Yes. Yes. All right. Josie's going to use the wand for the first time. Right, Josie? No, this is actually the third time. Well, yes. Well, this one. This one chose me. For the second time. Oh, yeah. 